So in this example, you can see uh, Jared. Same thing. It's OK. Uh, so you remember we have a triangle of size with a ratio of 5, 7, and 9, and a perimeter of 318 feet. All right. Now remember, perimeter is going to be when you take all the sides, add them all up together, right? Yes? OK. So you would say, all right, well, 5, 7, and 9 equals 318. And does that work? No, right? That doesn't work. Not going to go. You add up all the sides to get the perimeter, right? What I'm doing is a common mistake that a lot of students say is, oh, well, if the ratio is 5, 7, and 9, well, then those have to be the side lengths. But those are not the same. Those are the reduced side lengths. For instance, I said that we had, what, 7 and 11? So we had our ratio from boys to girls in this class. Um, let's not say it was 7 to 11. Let's say it was 7 to 14. 7 girls to 14 boys. That means there's 21 students in this classroom, right? However, in a ratio, let's say I wrote it like this, we want to reduce this. We want to reduce the ratio. So we would write that as 1 half, right? For every girl, there's two boys in this classroom. But if you just look at this ratio and forget about the 7 over 14, is there one girl and two boys in this class? No. No, there's 7 over 14, right? But we reduce the ratio. This is a reduced extended ratio. But what we want to do is find, well, what then exactly are the exact side lengths? So to get to 7 over 14, right, I divided by a number on the top and bottom. And what I divide by? What I divide by on the top and bottom to get 1 half? 7. But give me 7, right? That's OK. So I divided by 7, right? So what I'm pretty much asking you guys is if this is already reduced, so if I divided 7 to get to 1 half, I would have to multiply by 7 from 1 half to get to 7 over 14, right? To go from 7 over 14, I'm dividing by 1 half to get to 1 half. I'm dividing by 7 to get to 1 half, correct? If I had 1 half and I say what was actually the number in this classroom, I would have to multiply. I'm just doing the reverse operation. To go from here, I divide. If I wanted to go back, I would have to multiply, correct? So I'd multiply with 7. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a reduced rate, or a um, simplified extended ratio. So what I need to do is I need to multiply it by a number. I need to multiply it by a number to get to my exact side lengths. Do we know what that number is? No. No. This one we know because we had two numbers. But we don't know what that number is. So I know that 5 times a number, well, if we don't have a number, let's call that x. 5 times a number plus 7 times a number plus 9 times that same number equals 318. Okay, So that's how you would go ahead and set, to set this problem up. This is not the perimeter. These are not the lengths of your sides. We're trying to find the lengths of our sides. But this is reduced. So we need to multiply it by a factor to get our correct numbers. So therefore, I have 5x plus 7x um, plus 19 is going to be 21x equals 318. All right, so then you take your calculadora, and which I don't have mine. Where's my phone? Sure. Where's that, where'd my phone calculator go? 15.14? So therefore, x equals 15. Point what? We'll just do that. We'll round it there. So 15.14. But that's not the answer. The answer did, out of the question did not say find x. The question says find the length of each side. Well, if one side was 5 times x, the other side was 7 times x, and the third side is 9 times x. So therefore, we have to do 5 times 15.14. We have to do 7 times 15.14. And we have to do 9 times 15.14. Anybody have this one? 75.7. This length? Anyone? 105.98. point what? All right, now we did, we did round our answers, right? So we might not get an exact answer. But if you add all of these side lengths up, please tell me what that answer is. Right. 
Again, we did round, so it might be a little off. But you guys can go back and check your answer that all these side lengths add up. And therefore, my whole question, guys, is if I was to take 75.7, 105.98, and 136.26, this reduced is 579, approximately. I know we kind of had to use some rounding. But that reduced it to that ratio, OK? That's example numero uno.